Okay, I wanted to show a little bit of video footage of Towercraft, the tower defense game I picked up earlier today. You start here, you have the uh, option to start a new game or continue. One thing that bugs me a little bit about this is when you continue, it actually, instead of, even after you've completed a level, instead of starting you back at the level select screen, it takes you back to the level you just finished and you have to play the last wave again. Like you see here. See, it's starting right at wave 50. This gives me a chance to show you something else that's bothering me just a little bit here. Turn this down. Something that bothers me a little bit about this game is when you select a tower, you're over here, it cuts off the price of the tower, um, which is fine on this one because I'm maxed out. And something else you see here is flickering that happens when you have a tower selected, the ones around it start flickering. I'm not sure why it does that. It's a little irritating. Um, it only happens when there's enemies on screen. <clears throat> and once you get about more than four or five towers, which is pretty early in the game. Uh, one of the things you have here are magic powers that you can use. You can drag these out and drop them somewhere. And they cost you money. Um, other than that... This one sends them, fears them, sends them back running where they were. This one's got a cooldown on it. Uh, something else that happens in this game is when you kill an obstacle, <clears throat> it releases these fairy spirits that go and attack the enemies and kill them. Um, I like that little touch. It adds a little bit of strategy to the game. Something I enjoyed. Something a little different from any other um, tower defense style game. So you have to play the last round in order to select your next level. And the other thing that bothers me a little bit is that it doesn't keep where you were. So this is actually the first level, and the level I just finished was this one. So this is the one I'm actually wanting to play next. You start with a few towers already there. So here I have the missile tower, which does splash damage. Here I've got an arrow tower. And over here I've got an ice tower that freezes which slows down enemies, and you're trying to protect your castle back here. So I'll go ahead and place another tower here. You just drag it out where you want to place it. You can only place it on an empty spot. Sometimes you've got things here, um, obstacles, that you have to kill in order to place units there. This particular board seems to be a little less crowded than some of the others. And your towers will, once you select an obstacle to attack, your towers will continue to attack that obstacle until it's dead or you click off and choose something else. One strategy you can use early in the game is you can, between levels, you can wear down obstacles with your towers. That way, when you actually need them in a hurry, um, they're already close to being completely destroyed and then it's easier to destroy them in a pinch. Let's upgrade our tower. The one here with the net that's 75 gold is uh, anti-air. And place one of those. So we're going to start getting some air units here. I'll place another one. One thing that's a little different on the iPad versus the iPod version is that in the iPad version you're unable to zoom in anything so you're stuck at full screen which is fine on the iPad um, on the iPhone version you can zoom in which is nice so as you kill enemies like any other tower defense game you collect gold and then you can use the gold to buy things or level up your castle which gives you access to level 2 items like fire like fire that you can use to cast a dot on your enemies and I don't really have any good place to put this. So, what I'm going to have to do is make a spot here real quick. I can. It's not going well. Once I destroy this though, I'll unleash some fairies and hopefully kill off these stragglers here. There we go. 
Oh, one got through it looks like. Maybe I can catch him over here. See here again, this is cutting off on the edge. And that's uh, a little bit of a quibble. Um, it only seems to happen on the iPad version. The iPhone version actually sh will shift these either to the top or the bottom depending on where you're on the screen, which is a nice touch, and I just wish that the iPad version did it as well. Overall, I really like the game. Uh, the color palette is what really kind of drew me in to this. Wasn't able to find any reviews when I was first looking into this game. Pretty glad I picked it up. Um, overall, with a little polish, I think it'll be pretty good. Um, one of the other things, actually, that I wanted to mention that bothers me a little bit is when you get an achievement, it doesn't actually tell you you got the achievement. You only find out that you got the achievement when you go back and look. So there's an achievement that I haven't gotten yet for using all three kinds of magic in a single level. So I'll go ahead and do that. And there, I've done that. Now if I go back, and if I look at the uh, main menu, <clears throat> and come in here and look, and look at my achievements, and it actually did not give me that achievement, even though I used all three types of magic. So the achievement system seems a little bug, and also a little sparse.